Hey guys, welcome back to Siete Dieciocho. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a peeled paint technique for your miniatures and dioramas. So in the last diorama I made, this typical Colombian roadside farmhouse, I used a couple of techniques that I hadn't used before. Like many of you, I turned to YouTube to learn some of the techniques that I need to accomplish the look that I'm going for. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I made the peeling paint techniques that I used for the columns and some of the junk on the side of the house here. I'm also going to put the links below to their videos where I learned the techniques, but I'm gonna show you the way I did it. So you start with some wax paper. You're gonna put the wax paper down Tape it down to your surface and then we break out the Vaseline. You're going to coat the wax paper in a thin coat of Vaseline. It doesn't have to be a lot. This is what keeps the paint that you're going to apply on, on top from sticking to the paper and able to peel it off. Next you apply the paint. In this case, I use spray paint. You can use a brush uh, or any kind of paint that you choose, but the spray paint, I like a nice even coat. Next, I use a clear coat, a matte clear coat. And what I do with this is I spray it into the cap so I can collect some of it. And then I apply it on with a brush. You can either stipple it on or splatter it or flick it or however you choose. It all depends on what effect you want, how even or uneven you want to have the paint uh, stick to your surface. Next, you press the surface onto the paint that you apply on the wax paper and the matte coat is going to grab some of it and peel it off the wax paper, giving you some paint on there in a very blotchy, uh, you know, sporadic kind of peeled paint look. I used it on the pillars or the posts of the house. So I'm going to show you the way I did that here. I also splatter on some of the matte coat. I press the balsa wood pillar to the paint and peel it off. And there you go. Another technique is using liquid latex. This is some latex that I picked up at the craft store and you apply it onto the surface. You're gonna want a color of paint underneath that. Make sure it's dried well. In this case, I use the heat gun. Once it's dry, you apply your paint. Again, I use spray paint. And then with a tool, I used a plastic like sculpting tool. You can just start rubbing and scratching and peeling the paint off however you like. And I like especially that the paint hangs on and curls and peels and looks really good. All right guys, so that's today's video. I hope I was able to teach you something, maybe help you learn a new technique that you can use in your projects moving forward. If you have any ideas for any other techniques or something else that you want me to show you, please leave that in the comment section below. I'd love to check it out and see if there's something I can help you learn. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Help me out with the YouTube algorithm gods. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys.